in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, hello, hello, and hello, my brothers and sisters. Good morning uh, to some. Uh, good afternoon to, to others and good evening um, to whoever and whoever this message find you at. And and I will say this, my, my name is Ernest West and I will say welcome to the Ernest West Ministries. And I, I, I want to slow down for a minute and uh, this is not going to be 30 seconds, this is not going to be a minute uh, real, but I'm going to just teach right quick. There's a message, there's a pertinent message that I, I need to, to speak into someone's ears to get to get you, sir, and to get you, ma'am, to, to really hear briefly um, um, how to receive God's choices, blessings. Some of you, the reason why where you feel as though there's certain things that should happen or God should you should receive certain things from God and you're wondering what's wrong, what happened. And uh, the, and what I want to explain to you, oftentimes, and many of you who are listening to me, the reason why you hadn't received what God has for you is because of your hearing. You didn't hear it. You got distracted. Something happened where God responded, but in the fact, when God responded, you would listen to something else. And because you was listening to something else, you didn't hear what God was saying. You didn't hear what God was saying. And, and, and your understanding was fruitful because you was distracted. Something came to take the, take away God's voice, God's seed from you receiving what God has. That's why you have to be careful. When troubles come in your life and when things come to you, the first thing you must realize is that it's a distraction. It can be a distraction. And so you don't focus on that. You always keep your eyes on the word. Just like with Peter in scripture, when the disciples saw Jesus walking the, walk the water late at night in the twilight, twilight hour, they were afraid. Jesus said, be not afraid, it's me. And well, Peter said, well, if it be you, Lord, bid me to come. And Jesus told him to come, but there was a storm as well. And as long as Peter kept his eyes on the word, he walked the water. just like Jesus walked the water. But the moment that he took his eyes off of the word, what Jesus was saying, and put his focus on everything else, the water, the storms, he began to sink. And he had to say, God, save me. And so this is the place where many of you are at. You're at a place where you're sinking. And you're saying, and you're crying out and saying, God, save me. And so I'm gonna give you the answer. I'm gonna give you the answer and I'm gonna show you how that God can save you, not just you save you, but you save yourself. The scripture says, physician, heal yourself, and there's certain things that's in you already. You're looking for a a, 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 a a lifeline, you're looking for a float. Well, the float is in you already. And but you need to realize what you got. And so that's all I'm here to do, is to get you to hear. Uh, and to get you to see what you already got. Let's pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, bring clarity. God, bring wisdom. The scripture says, he that has an ear, let him hear, her hear, what the Spirit is saying to the church. In Jesus' name, amen. And now the title of this message is, How Do You Hear? And then we have four points of hearing. And I'm going to go from uh, Luke, the eighth chapter, St. Luke, the eighth chapter. And it's how you hear. See, there's a process on how you hear. And that how you hear is whether or not your heart is hard or to, to receive or your heart is soft where you can receive either hard or soft. And it's based on when it comes to sowing and reaping. And anytime uh, you're going to plant a seed, if the ground is hard, you must take a, a shovel or something to break up the ground, to soften the ground. That way you can plant the seed deep in the ground and, and cover the dirt up. That way it can it can grow. And so I'm gonna in Luke 8, 8 chapter, and the um Luke Dave chapter, I'm gonna start from the eighth chapter and the 
I'm going to start from the, uh, the fourth verse. It says that, and when much people were gathered together, were come to him out of every city, spake a parable. A, Jesus was talking. Now Jesus is red print. The fifth verse, Jesus, a sword went out to sow his seeds. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside. That's a certain position. That's a certain way. So the seeds just fell out. They didn't fall in the ground, but they fell by the wayside. They just fell while they were walking. And it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it. And so because those seeds were just out and went and planted nowhere, the fowls of the air came and ate it. The, the second was the seeds still walking and some fell upon rock, uh, on rock. And as soon as it sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. So some fell on a rock. The third thing is some fell upon thorns. Some fell up among thorns and the thorns sprang up and it choked and it choked it out. And the other fell upon good ground that sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when when he had it said unto them, he cried and said unto him, he that hath ears, let him hear. Now, let's go down to the 18th verse, and I'm, I'm about to explain and close this up. Now, the 18th verse says, and he told the disciples, when, you can read this for your, yourself, all the red print, but at the end of the red print, in the 18th verse, it said, Jesus said, take heed, therefore, how you hear, for whatsoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, from him it shall be taken, even unto him which seemeth to have. So, in other words, what Jesus was letting him know is that you have to be careful how you hear. And how you hear is whether your heart, you're hearing to react or you're hearing to heal. You're hearing to grow, to receive. And so, so sometimes sometime when a person is upset, when someone is telling them something, already you're, you're, um, their senses are set up. They're thrown up as an offense and so when a person is saying something they're not going to hear them completely because the distractions of the voice of hurt of what they want to say back to to refute or to retort what's being said and so basically if you hear from a, a offensive place you're not going to hear what's being said and see what's being said is Jesus want to heal you he want to hear you from every condition he want to hear you from every hurt. See, but you have to have and allow what has happened to you. You can't allow what's happened to you to speak to you. Because when you allow what's happened to you to speak to you, what's allowed, what's happened to you, if you allow what's happened to you to speak to you, then it's going to distract you from the voice of God saying, of what God is saying to heal you. And see, God wants to heal you, but you have to listen to how and how what's being said. See, Jesus want to hear you. And the way that he heal you is by listening. By listening. Your healing comes from you listening. And that, that, and that means to shut down the hurt. Stop thinking how to respond, how to react, how to avenge whoever hurt you. But, it said, but instead, God heal me. God, if I'm wrong, my mindset is wrong. If I've done wrong, God heal me from that wrong mindset. Heal me. The scripture says that when you see a person that's overtaking the fault, him that spiritual, consider yourself and go to that person in a spirit of meekness. And so in other words, humble yourself. You cannot be healed if you're haughty. You cannot be healed if you feel combative. You cannot be healed if you have hate. God want to go to that hateful place, that hurtful place and break it down. See, many of you, you and I broken down. God is breaking you down. He's breaking things down in your mind and your heart and emotion that you'll be able, pliable, to be able to be healed. I hope this makes sense. So in other words, swallow your pride, humble yourself. Humble yourself and allow God to heal you. And if you allow God to heal you, your healing will come forth speedily. I hope this makes sense. I hope God blesses you today. I hope God's moving your life today. Hear me and hear me well. God bless you. Amen. Smile on you. May God's best be yours. Hope you receive this word. God bless you.